Hello, I'm Ian. You're watching Pixels at Dawn, and this is Four-Sided Fantasy. So Four-Sided Fantasy is a game I played at uh, Eurogamer last year. Um, you'll be hearing that a lot, because all those games are starting to uh, come to fruition now. Uh, I really enjoyed playing it at the time, it's quite different, uh, but we'll see that as we go onwards. Let's jump straight in, shall we? I do like the uh, interface. So, Four-Sided Fantasy is a platformer where you go around, but what you can also do is play with the bounds of the game world. So if I, I hold down right trigger, I freeze the screen, and I can go off the right-hand side and come on the left as a lady, which is interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what, whether that, that's uh, got any significance in the game lore, but we shall see. So, let's move onwards. So, this is a game by uh, Ludoland, uh, which is mainly um, led by a chap called Logan Fieth. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if that's wrong, Logan. Um, right, so where are we going? Down here, pot potentially? There we go. Um, static. Probably don't want to get in that. So, uh, you may know some of Logan's work. He was, uh, previously worked on a game called Perspective, which is was a very interesting game because it was, um, it, as the name, name suggests, it played with the ideas of uh, of perspective. So you could have a small character who would be able to get through small gaps when he was when he was at a distance, but when he was close to the camera, he might be able to uh, uh, get over small obstacles and things like that. So it's very much playing with the idea of the game world. Which is always interesting to me, anyway. Uh, wait, and then... Oh, no. There we go. Um, so, coming from that kind of heritage, uh, this game is um, inspired by Portal and, uh, and Braid. Um, and, which is unsurprising, to be honest, because it is a very sort of Braid kind of feel to the game. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's definitely there. Um, and it's, um, it's very simple. There's no dialogue or anything like that. It's just a game that you play through. We're in summer at the moment, and every season you get a new sort of mechanic. There we go. Four-sided fantasy. Bound our way along. So, um... This is based on Logan's um, student project, The Fourth Wall. He, he's uh, one of these many uh, impressive game designers that comes from uh, uh, DigiPen. DigiPen Institute of Technology, is it? I can't quite remember. Um, they have quite an esteemed uh, gaming program, and some in very interesting stuff comes out that I might sort of play through some more of that stuff for you at some point in the future. Uh, how do we get across here? That's no good. Um, hmm. Brain, work. I do struggle with this sort of thing sometimes. I just do that. Oh, there's the... Oh, the, oh, I see. We've got to get the platform to come onto the screen from there. Cool. We stole a platform, people. And then we can drop onto the top of the screen and become a man again. I think the idea is you're meant to get the man and the woman to meet up at the end somehow. Uh, I don't quite understand how that works. Um, okay. Okay, so we can just go straight onto the other side of the screen here. And there we go. It becomes natural after a while, I have to say. <laughs> Which is nice for this kind of game. Right. Onwards we go, through the trees. Very pleasant game world, but I quite like the sort of slightly uh, washed out effect and the, the effect that you're playing on a on a screen or something. You can sort of see the, the dirt on the monitor um, reflecting the effects. Okay, so we want to be down the bottom. How do we do that? Ah, there we go. This way. Very good, very good. So this has uh, only recently come out uh, on Steam. Ooh, bounce pads. 
we go. I don't know whether there's any special things to find. These sorts of games quite commonly have that sort of thing. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, so we want to... There we go. Bounce up. Bounce. Uh, okay. So if we do that... We can go... Hmm, that wasn't quite what I meant. I want to get up this way. There we go. It's a very, very clever little uh, mechanic. Uh, as I say, quite like Braid in that way. Uh, where are we going now? Do we want to end up on this platform under where we are now? Hmm. How we get there? So, if I go like... No, I can't go off that side because the wall's in the way. We almost want to come off the top, don't we? Um, oh, wait. Do we have to do something like this? How do we... I can kind of see what we've got to do. Oh, no. That wasn't it. Give me a second to think. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Look, I can just do this. No. Ah, if I give myself a roof. There we go. And then jump that bit. And then we... There we go. And then we can just go that way. Cool. Oh. Oh, we're, we're zoomed out. Hello, I'm a tiny person. Very, very nice art style. Good job, guys. The music in the game is by MJ Quigley, who's not someone I'm familiar with, um, which is unusual for a uh, for a game music fan like myself. What's battery low? Okay, I don't know what that indicates. Okay, so if I try and go through this, kills my ability to freeze the screen. Interesting. Oh, and there's different battery types. Okay, let's charge up green and blue. And then maybe that will allow us to do. Ah, okay. Interesting. New mechanics. Let's move onwards. Hmm. And... Go up onto here. Jump. Yes, this is available on Steam at the moment for a princely price of six pounds and 29 pence or your regional equivalent about uh, ten dollars i believe uh it's on it is on offer at the moment but it's not that expensive a game anyway uh how do we get up there that way and down here more please Ah, there it is. <laughs> it's an interesting way of uh, climbing a level, isn't it? Down onto that side. And... Go down here, like that. Cool! Ooh, it's a log. Let's get through the log, shall we? I'm not sure what the basis of the game is meant to be. Where are, we, where are we going here? I presume we've got to get up somehow. Um. So if we jump up. We... 
climb that way. Are we climbing? We are. <laughs> That's funky. I like, I like. We are being followed by lots of random uh, hex. It's interesting. Let's destroy the blue, ba the yellow barrier. Blue barrier. I can't tell colours now. Right. So that was the weirdest form of wall jumping I've ever done. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you very much. And onto this side. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Got to get that right. There we go. Nicely done. So, I don't know whether this is your cup of tea. It's, uh, it's certainly been fun so far. Um, I may try and play through the whole game. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's certainly... Uh, I don't think it's a particularly long game. So, that might affect your purchasing decision. I don't know. Oh, this is going to become complicated, isn't it? Um, okay. So we've got to be on this side. And... Then we want to be... If we go... He? No, that doesn't work, does it? That. How do I get down a level now? Because if I do that, I'll just end up there. Back where I started. Mind-bending puzzles. Hmm. Backwards and forwards. Ah, there we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Let's get down another level there. So, back that way. Interesting approach. There we go. Oh, well, I was meant to go down another level, I think. Rubbish. Okay, back up here. And. That way. That way. Let me go down here. And down we go. Very good, very good. Oh, okay. Seems like something we want to get. But how might we get there? Hmm. Can't get off this level this way. But how do we get off this level at all? Oh. This is a real mind twister. How the hell? There's, there's no... No way to use previous stuff. Oh, sorry. This way... They're in this dent at the bottom. I say it becomes quite natural, but just every now and again your uh, brain reasserts itself and goes, What are you doing? You can't do that. How do we get to the yellow thing? I mean, I, don't, I guess, are these collectibles now? I don't know. Um, sorry. Uh, there we go. And jump. Get across. I'm almost across there. Hmm. Maybe that was a way to do it. I'm not sure that was the uh, intended way of doing it. Jump across this way. And then this way. And then jump. No, that wasn't what I meant. Oh. Ha. No, it wasn't the way you meant to do it, but there we go. I think I could have done it that other way, though. Uh, you, you do need that. It's not collectibles. You need to get those uh, to get to the next area. 
Nice simple puzzle. There we go. Continue. Just make me wonder whether there's stuff higher up that I just don't know about. And oh dear. Oh dear, that ended badly. There we go. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> what what are we, what's with all the CCTV cameras? I I don't get this. Is there some dark undertone to this wonderfully uh, bright and uh, pleasant world? Shooting stars and uh, starry, starry nights. Hmm. I don't know. So the, the music, as I said, is done by MJ Quigley, but the sound itself is done by Ian Shaws. Uh, should that be of interest to you? Uh, right, there we go. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> So we want to be over here, under the horrible static, it's like reboot or something. Right, onwards we go. Where are we now? We can't go down. Oh Jesus! No, oh, that was bad. <laughs> hmm. So we don't want to go bouncing to the top of the screen here. Um. There we go. Headbutt. Headbutt, that's the the uh, the way to do that one. Nice bit of parallax there. Cool. Yeah, it may be years since parallax and scrolling was invented, but it still, still looks nice. Hmm, where's this go? Boy. 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 I'm not sure how that helps, because I can't get the uh, bottom platform off the bottom of the screen. No, but I'm going to need to get over there. Okay. So I need to freeze the screen here. Q. And, oops, too far. <laughs> Up we go. Oh, that's, that's a bit awkward to get right. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Right. Up. I do look at, like games that explore brand new game mechanics like this. I mean, obviously the um, the guys at Ludoland are, uh, are certainly thinking back to things like Pac-Man and stuff where you had screen wrapping to play with. But uh, that's um, sorry, I'm thinking at the same time as talking here. Um, it, it's it's. It's certainly a level above there, I would say. So this is a very similar puzzle, but I can't fit the whole thing on the screen at once. So can I can I jump off? Oh, uh, maybe I've got to jump high enough to to create myself an infinite loop somehow. Mm, almost. Okay, you guys, I got it. Place the bounce pad on the left-hand side of the screen. Jump onto the bounce pad. Off the side. Back on. Onto the platform. And away we go. Good times. Raining. The storm is coming. Interesting. Okay, I am going to leave it there for now. Uh, but come back, I think I'm going to try and play through the whole game, so you will see this in a further episode. I might try and put them up pretty quickly, because I don't think it's that long a game. Uh, if you enjoyed this, obviously go and pick it up on Steam. The link will be in the description. If you enjoyed the uh, video, then obviously drop us a sub, drop us a like. And drop us a comment. We like to see all those good things. And if you want to see more new games you haven't seen before, obviously we do those on the channel. We do the retro stuff as well. And there's plenty of other stuff coming on Pixels at Dawn. So, I've been in. You've been watching Pixels at Dawn. And I'll uh, jump off one side of the screen and back on the other next time? I guess. Bye.